Understanding the square root. Build thinking skills to clear up confusion and misconceptions. The anchor points that clear up confusion. This notation is read as the square root of 25. It means a positive number, and importantly, only one positive number, that when multiplied by itself, gives 25. Five is a positive number, and five multiplied by itself gives 25. So, the square root of 25 is five. Let's take two more examples. First, find the square root of 16. Because four is positive and four multiplied by itself gives 16, the square root of 16 is four. Second, find the square root of nine. Because three is positive and three multiplied by itself gives nine, the square root of nine is three. Now, back to the beginning, I wanna emphasize this. Negative five, when multiplied by itself, also gives 25 but it's not a positive number. So never say the square root of 25 is both negative five and positive five. Remember, only one and always positive. Keep this in mind. It will help you avoid misconceptions and confusion. Let's see it next. Let's determine the square root of x squared. We know x multiplied by itself gives x squared. However, we don't yet know whether x is positive or negative. So the square root of x squared is the absolute value of x because it's always positive, and when multiplied by itself, it gives x squared. For example, if x equals five, the square root of five squared is five. If x equals negative five, the square root of negative five squared is the absolute value of negative five, which is five. In summary, whether x is five or negative five, the square root of x squared is always five, only one value always positive, just as we discussed at the beginning. Again, I strongly encourage you to anchor this in your mind. It will help you avoid misconceptions and serious mistakes. Let's see how that matters in the next part. First, I place our anchor points here. Let's solve the equation x squared equals 25. Take the square root of both sides. Referring to the anchor points, the absolute value of x equals 5. And then, x equals either 5 or negative 5. Now, here's the important part. If you only look at the first and the third lines without referring to the anchor points, you might fall into the misconception that the square root of x squared equals x, and the square root of 25 equals either 5 or negative 5. No, that's a misconception. Let's clear it up and anchor these points in your mind. They'll help clear up confusion and keep you confident and consistent. The video ends here. Thank you for watching.